Hello and welcome to Royal Vibes. Kate Middleton and William set for US trip to rival for success as the offer share satirical glamour. The Prince and Princess of Wales are embarking on their first visit to the United States since Harry and Meghan moved stateside and made a number of damaging revelations about the UK monarchy. So guys, before we get right into the full story, please do ensure to subscribe if you haven't, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. William and Kate are making their first trip to the US in 8 years. In the first week of December for the Headshot Prize in Boston on December 2, the pair will be attending the second Headshot Award ceremony, which is an innovative program founded by Prince William working towards pioneering ideas which tackle the climate crisis. Meanwhile, on December 6, Meghan and Harry will be receiving the Robert F. Kennedy Ripple of Hope Award for their heroic work against structural racism. With both the Welses and the Sussexes in the US, at the same time, Kate and William are hoping to improve the image of the royal family across the pond. Royal commentators have suggested that the royal family have not diminished um, in their popularity in the United States following the Sussexes move out there. Kinty Schofield told Express.co.uk that American royal watchers are absolutely crazy about the Prince and Princess of Wales. However, it is evident that the two royal couples represent entirely different lifestyles and world their popularity in different ways. Amanda Foreman wrote for in the, in the, in the Sunday Times that William and Kate are, tr are trading in yesterday's currency, leaving aside share sartorial glamour where Kate is unmatched, the Welsies offer the world a fixed basket of virtues that is duty probity, discipline, decency, discretion, loyalty, and commitment. Despite this breakfast or this basket of virtues, they are qualities which are valued by some while the Sussexes portray virtues valued by others. Ms. Foreman added that it is a worthy one to be sure and also totally, fatally in step with the values of the over 40 crowd, baby boomers, Generation X and some millennials. But the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are dealers in today's currency that is self-actualization, self-healing, self-identity, self-care, self-expression, self-confidence and self-love. Why the Prince and Princess of Wales openly talk about issues such as mental health, violence against women and girls, and LGBTQ plus right, the Sussexes embody what are seen as more modern values. They are step away from the archaic institution of the monarchy to live in their new home in Montecito, California, only highlights the divide between the couples. Harry and Meghan said that their 11 million pounds mansion made them walk in and go joy and excel and calm. It's healing. You feel free there. Such terms which the Sussexes use are part of a rhetoric adopted by the couple which the rest of the royals are unfamiliar with in public life. The royal family continue to perform their constitutional roles which, while being modernized, are different to the Sussexes' roles as celebrities. A palace insider told page 6 that the William and Kate are working on behalf of others versus being a celebrity. They are also famous, always famous. Um, but now they have reached a different stage in their public life. They are different types of figures. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye for now.